So using Lowndes method in, uh, Rhode Island, uh, it starts out the same way with the quota and then our initial allocation, which in this case only totals to, uh, 72 seats. Uh, now in Lowndes method, to decide where to allocate those three extra seats, we need to figure out the ratio of decimal part to whole part, uh, of the quota. So we take the 0.5538 and divide it by the whole part 3, and we get 0.1846 for Bristol. For Kent, let's see, we got 0.8395 divided by 11, uh, and that's 0 0.0763, uh, and we can do that for the rest of the states. Uh, so looking at those ratios now, now, we can complete our final allocation. And, and so the first of our extra seats, remember we got three more seats to allocate. The first one's gonna go to the one with the largest ratio, which in this case is, is Bristol. Uh, Kent, uh, sorry, Newport has the next highest, uh, ratio, so they're gonna get an extra seat. Uh, and then Kent is the next biggest, uh, and so Kent will get an extra seat. The other two will not, and that allocates our 75 seats. Now again, notice that there is a bias here again towards the smaller, the smaller, um, the smaller counties. Uh, it's probably not surprising that this was never accepted by Congress, considering that the smaller states that, uh, that it would benefit, uh, don't have as much say in the decision making, uh, as the larger states. Anyway, that is Lowndes method.